I don't keep video games on my computer because then I play them and I get lost in them and uh, spend a lot of time on them. But once in a while I like to indulge and when my partner went away for the weekend, I decided to play t Second Life for 24 hours. Second Life is a massive multiplayer environment where uh, people interact online with avatars in this 3D world. And so I created an avatar and I logged on and I realized the first thing was that I didn't look like everyone else. That's me in the center there with the black suit, jerky boy. <laughs> everyone else was really um, glamorous and someone in fact ran up to me and just said, I HATE YOU! Uh, all caps with an exclamation because that's how you communicate by typing. So I took off from the beach and I went up to these cabanas that I saw on the cliff which looked interesting and I was surprised at what I saw when I got in there. Um, it just wasn't what I expected. The guy on the right, he started barking orders at me and, and I just, I had only figured out how to move forward and backward, left and right, chat and teleport. So I teleported away from this island to another island. So teleporting is uh, just, you go from one place to the next and islands are kind of like websites and they're designed by users in the game and they're all unique. And here I found a bunch of girls dancing in a bar to music and chatting. And so Jerky Boy, they showed him how to get dancing as well. And that was pretty cool. And they kept saying, Jerky, you're perfect for Second Life. You're perfect for Second Life. So I thought I was doing, I thought it was cool. I just thought it was cool. And then, then they told me that they're all men in, in the real world. <laughs> so I left and I went to Burning Man. And my character would not stop dancing. And Burning Man was a lot like the real thing, but without any people and without the dust. <laughs> I went into a telepotty and got teleported to this huge dance floor. And there was one girl there and I, I, I was dancing, so I was like, dance with me, dance with me. And then her boyfriend showed up and he started threatening me. But there's nothing he could do. You can't kill someone in Second Life, you can't hit them, shoot them. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> but uh, they were miserable, so I left and I, I went shopping. And um, you can get anything in Second Life, eyes, wristwatches, shoes, boobs, butts, hair, appendages, anything you want, you can get it. You can buy it and sometimes you can find it for free. So I wandered around all these malls and I tried on a ring and then I started feeling kind of like I was getting into the wrong areas of Second Life. And so I teleported to an island that was the total opposite. It was a, sort of a meditation island that was promised to be um, relaxing. And it was. It had a sound of waves. And I realized that if Jerky Boy touched these little pose balls, then he would become animated. And so I did some yoga, and I did some Tai Chi, and I started wondering, what am I doing here? You know? <laughs> so I meditated, and I asked the second universe, what is the meaning of second life? And the universe responded, and it said, make love, not war. And I suddenly had a mission, finally, you know, for the last remaining time in my game, and I flew out of there, because you can fly in Second Life, it's a perk, it's cool. And I went back to the original island and went straight up to the cabanas, because I knew that's where the action was happening. And I went there and I waited and I waited, and sure enough, these two girls came in, and I used my old AOL chat room skills, and I got Samantha to get on the bed with me, and we touched one of the pose balls, but we didn't end up making love. Instead, I ended up doing a, a pole dance for her. <laughs> and you can see like third frame, my reaction, or his reaction. But uh, you know, our clothes kind of came off as much as they could without buying a naked body, and then um, that was it. She rejected me after that. And so I wandered around the whole island just hitting on everybody, trying to get some action. And uh, that's not a lightsaber, by the way. Um, it's, they practice safe sex in Second Life. And everyone rejected me. I don't know why, but they did. So I wandered back into one of the cabanas all alone, and I sat there, and I was tempted to touch the pose ball, but I didn't. And it's a good thing, because this avatar came running in, she grabbed Jerky Boy, threw him on the bed, and she made love to him in every possible configuration you could imagine. And I just watched it, it was awkward, and so I said stuff like, is this as real for you as it is for me? And uh, she didn't say anything. As fast as she came, she went. And, and then I returned back here to the real world where yesterday on my way home, the school by my house had 
all the kids filing out, and the teachers were pushing them out, and as I walked by, a six-year-old said, don't go there, don't look back. And they all lined up, covered up their eyes, and I thought, oh my God, something terrible has happened. But they were just pretending it was just a, a school shooting drill, that's all. <laughs> 